እንደምንዋላችሁ ይሄ የአውሮፓ ኮሚሽን የፕሬስ ኮንፈረንስ ነው በ2010 የመጨረሻ ሪፖርት ለማቅረብ ነው እዚህ ያለነው ዛሬ የመጨረሻ ሪፖርት በዋናው ታዛቢ አቶ ፋይስፐርማን ነው የሚካሄደው ይሄ ደግሞ በኢንተርኔት ይዘረጋል ይሄ በአህመታል ወይም የአውሮፓ ህብረት የመርጫ ታዛቢ ሉክ የተደረገ ተዘብት አተታ ነው unfortunately at the moment is not yet available because we wanted to enable ethiopian journalists and audiences to ask questions via chat we hope to get it worked out በኢንተርኔት የሚደረገው የጥያቄና መልስ ባሁን ሰዓት የለም አልተዘጋጀም ይሄም ደግሞ የኢትዮጵያ ጋዜጠኞች ሊጠይቁና መልስ ሊያገኙ እንዲችሉ የተደረገ ነገር ነበር ግን ባሁን ሰዓት የለም አቶ ታይስ በርማን የመጨረሻ ሪፖርት ካቀረበ በኋላ እናንተም ጥያቄ መጠየቅ ትችላላችሁ እንደምንዋላችሁ This unusual press conference takes place in Brussels. Yeah, con- unusual because the government of Ethiopia has finally refused access to this mission and to the presentation of the final report in Addis Ababa. It means that Ethiopian citizens might not get access to the analysis and recommendations they are entitled to receive. The government is doing everything it can to deprive the citizens of essential information. information. አይችልም ማለት ነው መንግስታችን ሄን አስፈልጋ የኮሚሽን እንዳይሰደድ ሳይቻው የሚቻለውን ጥረት ያደረገ ነው ይሄ ከዚህ በፊት ያልታየ ነገር ነው ከዚህ በፊት ከተደረጉ ማህመድ ሳገሮች የተደረጉ ሰማንያ የመርጫው ካን ያደረገ ነገር ማውራፓ ፓርላማንት እና ባልደረቡ ሌሎች ዋና ታዛቢዎች የነገር በጣም አስፈናል ኢንፎርሜሽን በነጻ እንዳይተላለፍ ማለት በጣም ዲሞክራሲ ያለሆነ ውሳኔ ነው የኢትዮጵያ ሚዲያ መጀመሪያ ደረጃ ከመርጫው በኋላ ከለቀቀው አተታ አውንታ የሆኑትን ብቻ አላቀቁ በኢትዮጵያ አቅርቦታል ያውራ ህብረታ ዘይም ጣልኡክ ለህዝቦች አገልግሎት የተደረገ ነገር እና የተለያዩ የመርጫ ነገሮች በነጻነት በገለልተኛነት according to the international standards of the UN as a chief observer of this mission i think we need to do everything we can to allow I wish to express my gratitude to the National Electoral Board of Ethiopia and to the people of Ethiopia for their cooperation and for their hospitality. To the European Commission, to the Cabinet of High Representative Catherine Ashton, to the heads of mission in Addis Abeba and in particular to the EU delegation in Addis. And of course, my gratitude goes out to all the observers, long term and short term, to the core team of this mission headed by my Deputy Chief Observer Tony Rice. and to yes. the mission staff they number. did a splendid job and i am proud to present the results any but i'm destiny and better the rego metabar main findings and our recommendations on election day we have been observing in 815 polling stations in all regions and follow the counting of the votes and the final aggregation of the results the electorate consists of 32 million voters የመራጮቹ 32 ሰላሁለት ሚሊዮን የሚሆኑ ሲሆኑ 93.4% ኮምፒውተድ ወተውት ነው። had sufficient candidates in all regions. The parties were poorly organized and inexperienced. ፓርቲዎቹ በደም ያልተደራጁና ለምንም ያልነበራቸው ነበር። These were peaceful elections. እነዚህ መርጫዎቹ በደም የተደራጁና ሰላማዊ ነበሩ ምንም እንኳን ውጤቱ ተቀባይነት ቢኖረው 
did not meet international standards. International standard in Yalamwalu, but it's also not very lack of level playing field for the political parties, giving a clear advantage to the ruling party. Look here, Hona. The separation between the ruling party and public administration is blurred at the local level in many parts of the country. It has been directly witnessed by our observers. But how many cars? But the police are not. Many miners live in the town. Use of trucks, of high five, of buildings to be able to campaign. An advantage the opposition, of course, didn't have. Yeah, Mary. Yeah, Mary. In 27 percent of cases observed, the polling station results were different to those previously recorded by observers at polling stations. Third, the legal framework in Ethiopia is good, and Ethiopia signed international agreements. However, as our observations show, the implementation of laws and some new laws created constraints on the electoral process and more particularly on the full enjoyment of fundamental civil and political rights. Four, the credibility of some results is weakened by the very high percentage. Yandandu, Yemirch Ahuneta, take a bind at Halneberosion of invalid votes. Yet, Yalhone, I'll take a bell Yalhone, Mirch Arch, Takai on a bell, Lamsale, but a gray, yet a gray, his watch, Nasauchi, Gumbadiev, the ruling party, APRDF. Ninety-five percent. The Tanam is coming to us. With ninety-eight percent, seventy-six in favor of TPLF. The Tanam is coming to us. With ninety-eight percent, seventy-six in favor of TPLF. Yeah, the guy has watched that. Our Jigun Bad did give one. But I assume. These kind of results are not impossible. But statistically, it's not probable. But statistically, it's not probable. Five. The lack of transparency. The absence of a national voters list is not helpful and increases the risk of multiple voting. The lists of polling stations are incomplete for every region. The failure to produce clear and consistent and detailed figures on registered voters per constituency damage the transparency and credibility of the process. The EUM observed a clear lack of trust among the opposition in the election administration's neutrality. The United Nations observers regularly reported on the fear that opposition candidates expressed regarding the consequences of their political activities. Yeah, political implications. You go to Shilwan. You matter and 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 they matter and punished for minor offences like extortion. The seventh point. The observers have noticed shortcomings. In voter education, yeah, my rich old Timerton, but I'm in the community. NGOs has no right to train voters, as Nebe, the national electoral authority of Ethiopia, had the exclusive right to educate voters on these elections. Ethiopia, Ethiopia, we have a much more bitchano Timerton, where secrecy of the vote was. Respected, and polling procedures were satisfactory in 87% of observed polling stations. But there was a transparency. And you had these observations. And you had these observations. And you had these observations. And you had these observations.